Welcome to Entertainment Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> here at Overhold Art and Entertainment Studio, and I am your party artist. My name is Kim Overhold. Yes, and I got some music playing today. It's going to be a gorgeous day out today, and we are going to do some painting. I've got my canvas already set up on the side here. I'm going to show you something kind of cool today. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about me, check out my website, kimoverhold.com. And like I say, I'm going to be a party artist, so it's going to be fun today. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, what I've been working on and what's coming up for the weekend. So uh, I don't give away any secrets right up until the end, of course, because, you know, yay, fun me, right? <laughs> Hold on. I'm glad you're all out there today, and I hope you're enjoying this wonderful weather. It's way too warm here in the studio. Hallelujah, freaking Louia, because, you know, I don't like being cold. I, I wish I lived in a warmer climate, that's for sure. So this is what's going on for, for the weekend. It's not wonderful. Sorry about the light. <laughs> I finally got some decent lighting going on. I should move over a little bit. There we go. So that's for Saturday. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making for Sunday. See, I had a bit of an idea, but then I got kind of sidetracked and uh, I have to kind of start all over again. Whoa, that light's bright, eh? Oh, wow. Oh, I make sure that you see me. I know the front's a little bit, it's a little bit dark, a little bit side. So. I even have light on. It's not terrible. It's just the one light that just gives me up. So, this is the idea that I had for uh, there was going to be a, a bridal party, and the wedding's going to be at Kicking Horse, uh, BC. So I had the mountains in the background. Been, but then, uh, last minute change, I just, you know, this is great for maybe another painting at another time. Unfortunately, this is not going to be a painting for Sunday because I found out, <laughs> and not, I'm a fault of my own, it's all my, my fault because I didn't ask. It's a same-sex marriage. So, I'm going to have to um, change a few things. That it definitely is not going to be a man and woman standing on the side there. It's definitely going to be a two ladies and uh, I'm going to create something on my canvas for you today and it's entertainment Thursday so I hope you are entertained so far I'm going to show you how I do at least the start of the background because I have an idea of what I want to do and it's going to be like uh, good for like everybody's same-sex marriage or stuff like that okay so I'm going to just get started and I got music in the background just so that you can see me I have my solo cup red solo cup let's have a party okay and I have uh, my paints ready to go on my easel there and my, my canvas on the easel should say blah 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 I can talk <laughs> and I'm going to start bring this forward to your and I usually get people you know cheering and stuff and get people going if you have something to drink drink it you know I just think I forgot I forgot to get something to drink it's hot up here I'm going to grab something to drink can you give me a second I'll leave with a little bit of music. And if you see anything weird going on in the background, please let me know. Uh, here's another. Here's the clapper up. Yeah, yeah, you know, I should have some people clapping in the background. That's a great idea. <laughs> Give me one second. I gotta get a drink. I need a drink. Hold on. <laughs> You know, it would be neat if I hadn't have everything ready to go, you know? I never have everything ready to go. Okay. Okay. Woo, I'm back. Oh my. Nothing. Nothing like going up too hot. Why the stairs on a hot day? Cheers. Mm. Ah, no. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, Clapper app. Okay, that's a great idea. Thank you for the suggestion. I do appreciate it, Chris. You're awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, spring comes fast in Canada, and it comes so fast that, whew, whew. The only funny thing is, I tell a few people where I'm from. I don't tell them I'm actually in, like, the Niagara area. 
I told this one person, you know, I'm in Canada, Kim from Canada, and uh, they went, oh, well, you know, we're in the Ontario area sometimes, I could come by, and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> how did you even know, I said, I didn't even say Ontario, how did you even know where I am, Kim from Canada, and you automatically assume. <laughs> More people on there, yeah, thanks, Chris, you know, I, I gotta look into a few things, so I appreciate all the help, and cheers, oh, let me do a proper cheer. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. Cheers. Here's to you. Here's to me and all the things that are to be. I'm so excited about the, the, the future and I'm excited about you doing a painting with me. Are you excited about this painting? I know I'm not going to go all the way with it because there's some things. I'm going to make it personable to the people that I'm doing the party for. So there's going to be some things that are going to change a little bit while I'm doing it. So but I'm going to show you, I'm going to start off like I did because, you know, the colors are definitely nice and they're very muted. So I might even pop, pop up the colors a little bit on my next one. And they will have mountains in the background, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking of uh, maybe uh, having hands holding each other, uh, holding hands. Or if they can send me, I've, I've asked for a picture of, of them so that maybe I can even do like a silhouette of somebody. Then that might help. I'm just waiting for a response now and I'm not sure when I'm going to be getting a response. So I'm glad you guys are here for me. And Hey, like I say, entertainment Tuesday, uh, Thursday, gosh, what day is it? Okay. You know what happened? It's because I'm not working right now. And then and, and one day kind of goes right into the other kind of thing lately. And, uh, but if you want to come and paint with me, uh, I do have my Niagara art parties, you know, and Niagara art party, you can come take a nap with me. Niagara art party. Yeah. You know, and it's fun. So I'm going to show you, blah, blah, blah. Well, think, well, imagine that I'm at the party already. Let me just kind of get, put this in front of my, oh, well, maybe I should just leave that out in case you want to take a look at my website too. I do pretty cool stuff. So, all right, so ta -da, what I'd be doing is I like getting people excited about painting. So uh, I do a cheer usually, and then I grab my red solo cup, refill it up, and let's have a party. And because it's going to be outside, I already did it outside because I, and I know it's going to be hot. So we're going to wet this canvas from right to the top to the bottom. That's the first thing I always do. I say, wet your canvas. Wetting the canvas actually um, gets the painting. It gets ready to be painted. You're getting your canvas primed for paint. And I think I have a little bit of color still left on the brush from the last time I did it. So I'm just, you're going to have to bear with me. The, the water won't matter. If, you, if it's dirty water, it doesn't matter. As long as it, what you're doing is just wetting your canvas. So I'm going to show you guys how I do a paint party. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Because I got this so hard. I have my little thing in the back to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't move around. There we go. Okay. So you guys, here we go. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. Okay. In old. In old. There we go. <laughs> all right. So when you get this nice and wet like this, all the nooks and crannies, you see the water flying like crazy. Yeah, that's the way I do it. I like to get people wet. And, and you know what? It's going to be so hot outside. I don't think people are going to mind getting wet. You know what I'm saying? And when you get do, doing like that, you know, that's your first painting called Polar Bear in a Snowstorm. I love that one. That's my favorite. And what I ask people to do because, you know, it's going to be a hot day. What we're going to do is we're going to flip over the canvas like this because, you know, don't keep the canvas on the easel, I always say. Move that baby around. you got to move that canvas. you got to move your body. you got to move that canvas. Usually I have music playing, so uh, I usually kind of make it kind of funky, but I don't, I can't, you know, copyright and stuff like that. I have to be careful. Even now when I played a little bit of a segment of something, I could get in trouble. So, yeah, whatever. It's not like I'm being monetized or anything. It's not like I, you guys are getting... You're paying me to do this. I'm doing this of my own free will. <laughs> Silly me. I know. I know, right? I know. So, you know, I'm just that good. <laughs> All right. So get it wet. You know, like the wetter the better, I would say. Ha, ha, ha. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to watch what I say. But, you know, I, 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 everybody's everybody. Everybody knows how much fun you have when you have a little bit of fun getting wet. All right. So let's go. Oh. Let me trip on myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to get in. You know what? This, this light is, is causing me issues. Okay. I'll bring you back a little bit. Bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. I'll put it back here. Okay. 
I'll keep this light beside it so you can kind of see. This light is like it's a very bright light. I asked for I asked for light. I got light. Let me tell you. I should put the funky disco light on too. Maybe I will. <laughs> but now I'm going to show you how I start. So I start with the um, I start with things that are the first way for me, the things that are closest up, and the things that are the furthest away for me is space. Space is a big thing. Space is further away for me. And what we're going to start with is a very nice and very mellow color. And of course, the mellow is the yellow. Okay, so what we're going to do is use that same brush and just take on the tip some yellow. Just on the tip. And we're going to go across a little above middle, but we want to get like a middle section going. So we want to kind of Ooh, it's so wet. Look at that. All right. So nice and wet and go across like that. Right in the middle. See? And what happens <clears throat> with the water on it so wet is it'll start moving. So I'll go a little bit higher. Higher, higher, burning fire with a song like a choir. Okay. So we'll go with this there. And we'll just let it bleed down. That's a big word. Here we go. Put some music on so you can hear that. There we go. <laughs> All right. You know, it's always good if you ever have one of any pointers on, on painting, just let me know in the comments below. Like Chris does. I appreciate it, Chris. You know, that's great help. I'm going to be looking into the, the Clapper app for sure. Because I really do. I need to <laughs> make some extra cash and the work in and stuff. So, all right. Okay, so now I'm not going to yell on this. I'm going to rinse this off. Oh, in that red solo cup. Swish it around like Bob Ross does. Make sure you got paper towel. Oh, paper towel. Uh oh, paper towel. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. God sent paper towel. <laughs> okay. Yay, you guys! I'm so happy you're here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so yellow, and then we're gonna go up the top here, and the bottom down here, and. Uh, Okay, let's turn it down. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're like now that that's nice and got all the yellow off of that paintbrush, we've dried off, and we're going to switch colors. We're going to switch over to the blue. Let's go to blue. Blue, blue. All right, see that? Blue on the tip, too. Just on the tip. You don't want too much. You just want it to be on the tip. There. Oh, and you can see even here with the water, it gets a little dry. So dip your Paintbrush in the water and get your blue to be a little bit watery. You want a little copper here than that. So you just make a nice cover like that. See, just like that. And then you come down with that. I'm showing you a trick. This is a cool trick. Watch this. Okay, so you come down, but don't touch the. Don't. 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 Don't touch the white. Don't touch the white. <laughs> All right. Don't touch the yellow. Don't touch. The, I'm. I'm dumb here. Don't touch the yellow. Don't touch the yellow. Okay. <laughs> I can get off of just my facial expressions alone. I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. Eh? <laughs> just the tip, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, see, I used to get in a lot of trouble when I used to go. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so when you get to about that ready, flip it over. <laughs> We're going to flip it over again. Mm -hmm. Because that's the way I roll, baby. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and we're going to do blue again on the on the top again. So watch what water my blue. You can get a kind of watery blue. So you can add water and then go into the blue and get kind of watery. I got my paper towel to cover it. And I'm just going to go over the top again. Top again. Oh, this one's nice and watery this time. Oh, and it's going to start dripping. Oh, oh, catch that. Catch that. Catch that. So we like this. And don't touch the yellow. And we're only going to go so far. What's going to happen is we're going to get some red in there, too. So we to make sure we have room in there. But don't be afraid. You can go darker if you want to. I, I, I go light because I'm never sure of how dark it can turn. So, But you can go as dark as you want. I have people that, you know, have never painted before. And when I see the paintings that they do afterwards, I'm like, man, I should have went darker. Because it just turns out so nicely, honestly. So like, don't be afraid to go dark, right? Dark is fun. Dark can be fun. You can be a fun in the dark. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> oh, don't. Okay. Yes, this is this is what I would be like if I went and doing my paint price. I, I would love to tongue in cheek little innuendos here and there, get people kind of like, <gasps> oh geez. <laughs> okay. So now you see, I got yellow there, and I got my blues on the end. I can kind of decide for myself well, which side do I want to be the top, or which side do I want to be the bottom. Because what we're going to be doing is some other stuff. So I'm going to be adding some red to it. So i got to figure out what do I want to have, top and bottom. Do I like it like that? Or do I want to flip it over? Should I flip it over? I'm going to be adding some red. What do you think? Should I flip it over? Come on, you guys. Give me some suggestions. I'm out of my on my own here out here. I'm lost. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I could. You know, it's, it's a matter of just comparing top to bottom. So which one I like better. I like them both. I don't know. This one's a little bit There we go. You know what? Yeah, maybe I will flip it over. But you know, that might make good for good mountains and stuff. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's flip it over. Let's see if that is. Oh, that will just do it. Back on top. There we go. Let's see. It's going to start dripping there. And, okay, so we can do that one right there, too. So we can do that down that way. All right, this is fun. This is fun. And this, I'm always telling people whatever you do, don't touch the yellow. Don't touch the yellow. Okay. All right. And now, uh, but the red, the red is next. And the red is going to go in between the blue and the yellow there. So we're going to make a nice little blend. We're blending. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I know. Kimmy, relax. What's the problem? <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's just on the tip there. Oh, I've got my little paper top. Almost in 3D. Okay. Now I'm going to go here with some red. And the red is going to be. Dark and deep and luscious, just like me. Oh, 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 oh. Now, if you have enough water still on your on your uh, canvas, it may start to drip. But if you don't, just add a little bit of water, and you just want it to kind of pick up the colors that are already on the canvas. So you're picking up the purple, and you're bringing it down, or move the red into the yellow, making it very, very cool. All right, so. A little bit on the tip, just the tip. Red goes very far. Red is very, very bold, so it, it really starts to travel. So we want to make sure it's all right. So you see, look, you can see it starting to travel already. All right. There we go. Wet, this is why I love doing the wet technique. Oh, 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 because, and, and for, you know, saying all kinds of nice little things you can say about being wet. <laughs> oh, it flips the hands over. All right, and we're going to do the same thing right there, too. Okay, so I'm going to jump my brush in the water, just on the tip of some red, right on the tip there. I can show you, see, yeah, there's a little bit. Okay, and right across here. Now, I might start purple, but you can just go back and grab, grab some more red and go back across. You can touch the blue. You can touch the blue to the red. The red to the blue and vice versa. Okay, a little red on the tip. Go right in the middle. Because I will do as, you know, if, if people were listening to me and I said, take some red and go on the tip and then put it on the canvas, they'd be like, does that work? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. What we're going to do is take a little bit of water. Just dip your brush into the water and where you apply the paint, just go back over again with some water. And we're going to just bring it down with some red. If it isn't enough red, we're going to go up a little bit, go a little bit purplier, and then come down again and grab a little bit more red just on the tip. Because, like I say, you don't need much, just like down the tip there. All right, so a little bit lower. How's this? Okay, <laughs> a little bit lower. And you'll find, you'll, have the fun, you'll find that it'll start doing this down there. That's fine. You can brush it up if you want to. If you find it's getting too out of control, you can do that. There we go. And same here. You can see it starting to run a little bit there. That's what you're supposed to see. That's supposed to happen. It comes down a little bit. 
And then we can go with a little bit more, just water. Uh, rinse the brush a little bit. Get, you want to get just keep it more in the red section if you can. Okay, I'll put a little music on here. This is what I do. This is what I do when I'm doing a paint class too. Sure. In between, get some music. Nice sunset. Look at that. Nice and dark. Don't be afraid of the dark. And you can build it down towards the yellow. A little bit of water. It'll start turning pink and green and uh, pink, pink and orange. And that's kind of what you want it to do. It's just about going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. This, this is what takes up the most time. Ta -da, see? You can do it at the bottom as well. Blend that yellow in. All I do is just going back and forth, back and forth. Sand the floor, sand the floor. It's a nice, easy gesture. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. You know, you can go right into the yellow. Go right over. A little bit of water. Just go nice and light. And blend right from top to bottom. Isn't that beautiful? You just gotta be patient. Gotta think it through. They well not even think about it. It's just gotta go with the feel of the paint. And as it dries, of course, with the yellow, the yellow will stay. And then this red will just blend and splay right through. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Very simple, very easy. And now we gotta let it dry a little bit. How long did that take? Was that very long? I'm saying maybe 10 minutes to do that. All right, excellent. Well, I appreciate it, Chris. I appreciate it. anything you guys do to help me make it better for you guys to be painting out there. Because I love to do this. And uh, yeah, I do have a whole bunch of stuff that if anybody ever wants any art for sale, I have it. All right, so nice. We gotta let that dry a little bit. And as we're drying, if we're thinking about what's gonna be going on there. Now, like I showed you on this one, maybe some nice clouds. I'll make some nice clouds going. I'll make the sun. So we'll start making. I'll start with making the sun, and then maybe we make a few clouds. And if you see a spot you need to fix. Just make sure your brush is nice and light. And don't go right on it. Go kind of around it. And blend through it. Soft spot. Had a white spot. I'm like, how's that possible? Okay. Yep, you're going to pull with your eye. That didn't take long at all. And you can do anything at that point. You can make it whatever you want. You can have like a nice sunset. You can make it water down here, a sunset up there. But what I'm doing is I'm going to be making some mountain ranges. But first, I'm going to make some nice fluffy clouds. So you decide, you look at it and say, do you want that to be the top? Or is that going to be the top better? I'm certainly like that as better as a top. What do you think? <laughs> you can play with it as much as you want. Until you're happy with it. Of course, you gotta let it dry. I usually get people do the wave, you know. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I appreciate that. I love having people sticking around. That's wonderful. Chris, you're the best. Chris, you're the best. <laughs> All right. Maybe I can get somewhere one day. <laughs> um, the faster the better, anyway. 
All right, so because it's still a little bit wet, this is a perfect time to start making some clouds. I'm going to use this very paper towel. Now, usually I'll have a uh, paper towel wrapped around the brushes that I have, but I'm going to just leave it. We're going to make some clouds. Clouds first, but clouds are always fun to make. A little bit wet. Clear skies. And make a little circle. I know a nice choice for music. I know. This is my music. <laughs> clouds. There you go, that looks good. Now I'm just trying, I'm just looking at it, so I'm picturing where the sun's going to go. So, we're going to take the tip towel, we're going to dip our finger in the water, and then we're going to make a spot where the sun's going to be, and I'm going to make it in orbital. So imagining the horizon line being over here in the mountains, but I'm going to make the sun on the top of this part. And again, you can have the, the sun anywhere you want to. It's almost kind of middle, but it's, I'm kind of keeping in mind the rule of thirds. Have like somebody down here, the sun's here, the clouds are here, and any kind of little, little thing I can make up here, a little singing or something. I'm just hoping to hear back. The, so that I can get a little bit of an idea. Because I got, like I say, it's my own fault. I left things to the, the last minute. And uh, <laughs> this is what I do. This is like, and it's not that it's bad, but it's just like, you know, I want to make sure that I get it looking great so that everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let me just turn on the music a bit. Okay. So we're at the point where uh, we got our sky, we get our background going. Now this is a matter of making some mountains. And I look through a couple of ideas and um, you know I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to go for it and uh, uh, oh, give me one second. So I do have an idea. I saw uh, ones that I downloaded and I check on my phone. I'm looking at my phone right now. I'm going to downloads. Oops, wrong spot. There. Okay. And. Oh, I'm at FedEx. What am I doing here? Okay. Oh, okay. That's not it. And the FedEx. Come by. Nothing for me, though, unfortunately. Hmm. I kind of have an idea for here. Here, definitely making the mountains across there. Okay. Give me one second. I gotta, I gotta paint, take a picture, and kind of referencing. Okay. Um, just to be on the safe side, like I got the picture, but I'm just gonna look one more time. The place is kicking. Have you ever been? Anybody been to BC before? Yes, I have been to BC. Actually, it was in Vancouver. Uh, back in 1986, I went for uh, Expo 86, which was really, really awesome. Um, it was a good time. I had lots of fun, met a lot of people from all over the world, um, and got to ride on the uh, Royal Hudson 
um, railroad, which is really great. I've no, it's sort of a rare thing to be able to do. I had my first nine Naomi bar when I was there. Naomi, what are they called? Those, those chocolatey, they're delicious. I had one on the train. It was wonderful. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm looking for, because the place is called Kicking Horse Mountain. And just want to make sure that I'm getting a good mountain scenery at, uh, at sunset, maybe sunset. To see what it looks like at sunset. Because it may have a different look than I imagined it. No, no, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I got it. All right, so, yeah, the Kicking Horse, it has mountain peaks, and, and I think they're snowy all year round by the looks of things. So I'm going to just start by changing my brush. I'm not going to use the big one. I'm going to switch now to my medium-sized brush, which is this one right here. It's a nice medium-sized brush. You can use the thick side, and you can use the thin side of the brush. So what I'm going to be doing first is uh, doing a little bit of white to make the, the sun look like the sun. So, What I do to make a circle is I take the brush down and I go around, but sometimes I make it too big. Anyway, sun! <laughs> and you can make a little bit more white on the clouds there. Where the sun is, you can put like the streaks of where the sun is, is glowing with the most there. And kind of smudge it in with your finger. How's that look? Does it look better? I need to do a little bit more light. We're going to have fun with this anyway. We're going to play with this a little bit. When I get everybody together, we're all just going to be playing with the colors anyways. It's mostly just playing with colors. Uh, she wants to have a little child to even play with the colors. So, yeah, there we go. So nice. The white, and then I'm going to switch that color over to black. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a mountain. Now, there's one mountain peak that is like almost complete uh, triangle. And that's why I was kind of like putting in this picture, you can kind of see it. Uh, the one peak that's there is kind of like more of a, a triangle, and the other mountains are kind of because it has that one peak that's kind of like a complete triangle. So you can make that. Triangle peak there. And then we're going to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Because I'm going to make it so that there's mist coming across too. So we'll make one mountain there. And then we'll make a big tiny mountain coming from the other side. That's the main one that's right there. That's the one kicking horse mountain. I the one that really stands out is just like that, right there. Okay. And we can go a little bit sloppy down the bottom because there's going to be, we're going to make a mist down at the bottom here. Yeah. And it's all, some of them are bigger, but I want to make sure that you see the main mountain that's kicking for us has the one mountain that's kind of like a complete triangle, like a really Trying to the other ones are kind of not quite the same. So we can do that like this. And just kind of scrape along the bottom and make it the nice little. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit of um, mist going on. So we rinse the brush. How's it look? <laughs> I'm sending that. I actually am going to do a couple other things to it, but we just want to get the, the shapes in there first. So there's some shapes in there. And of course, I went first. What? Here's what I forgot to tell you guys. Water removes paint. So I actually put water on the brush. And I think it's just removed. Yeah, see, look at it. Just removes some paint right there. I didn't need to do that, but I did. 
that's okay. There's no mistakes in art, only happy accidents. So it's only good that you should have happy accidents. Well, even I have a happy accident while I'm doing this. That's great. That way you get to see. Everybody makes mistakes. Even if you weren't doing art, you can still make mistakes doing it. And mountains are usually purple, so I'm going to uh, add a little, once they dry a little bit more, I won't worry about the, the water and everything because I'm going to add some purple into there and make a nice mountain scene. And I'm going to make some purple, so we're going to start blending some colors together. Now, I'm going to take my brush, and I got the colors, like, so I'm going to show you here. Oh, it's very bright. There we go. So if you can see red and blue, I'm going to mix those two together, and it makes a nice purple color. Make sure that the yellow doesn't mix with the blue and the red because that would make black together. All three colors together will make black. So if I ever run out of black, you can take the three colors and mix them together nicely. And there you go. You've made yourself some black. It might look like it's a dark purple, but when it dries, it dries as, as black. Be surprised. You should try sometime. Okay, so I'm making some nice purple here. Just enough to go on the brush here. And I'm just going to go along some spots here. Make some more movements. Different colors here. Continue that over here. Mount Majesty. Everybody loves mountains. I used to go rock climbing quite a bit, so I love mountains too. And you're up high, so you're actually looking down on the mountain side. So this is the coolest thing about it. We're doing this right now. We're doing the different colors right now. Make it beautiful. Painting this a little bit in purple there. That's okay. You can do that soon. You're allowed to do that. You can blend a little bit if you want to. That's nice. Right, purple. Purple, purple, purple. God, I have some purple. Let's see. Purple. You go dark and then you can make it go a little bit lighter as we get closer. Okay. But actually, when you get closer, you, the colors become more noticeable. And then as you go further away, they become less, they become more muted. And sometimes they even become a little bit paler. But because it's a sunset, we're going to make it nice and dark. But the mountains way far in the background, nice and dark. And the ones that are up close are nice and light. And there we go. And as we go, we get lighter. And uh, the ones here, we're going to make even like redder. So I got that purple that we have. I'm going to just add a little bit more red to the purple and make another set of mountains that are nice and close. And we have the rule of thirds going on here now. So you've got the, you've got the uh, clouds, <laughs> talk, <laughs> sun, and you've got earth. Here, and have to be straight a little bit. Because you're up above and you're looking down, so you're in the mountains too. So as you go closer, you have more. And here, of course, you can make it like the final little extra detail of making it part of the mountain scene that you're actually standing on kind of thing too, if you want. Love that little bit of purple there, blending it in nicely. Make you feel like you're standing on the mountainside. 
So, I mean, if they wanted to go to this point, that's kind of nice. That's a nice painting. As you can tell, we can add some more clouds. And actually, I'll probably add some more clouds because that's kind of nice, eh? I'll do that. I'll add some more clouds and maybe a little bit more mist. Yeah. I think that's going to work. And then if they want something, like I was going to put hands together, but I'm going to wait and see what they say because I'd rather get input from the actual person than, than doing it and then finding out, you know, oh, I could, should have done something else. So let me, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, more clouds, more clouds. Yeah. yeah. I'll use the same brush, the same flat one. Details brush one use for, for something else. See the way the, the sun's coming here. You gotta make sure you see the clouds kind of give a little more dimension in there. Just have a little more clouds there. Oh, <laughs> sometimes that happens. The lights kind of go out sometimes. And maybe see the Here, kind of blend out nicely. And like that. I know there's something missing, and I'm thinking when she tells me what it's going to be, I'm going to be able to put it right in there. But until I can get a final say, this is what it's going to be. All right. All right. I love painting. Do you enjoy painting? You should try it sometime too, because it is a lot of fun to do. Now, what I want to do. I love playing with paint. So um, I'm going to do a couple fun things. So first off, I'm going to take that last little details little brush, dip it into the paint. And I'm going to make some mist happen down here. I'm just going to dot a couple little spots here. And I'm going to take my little finger here, and I'm going to just blend it in. Give it a misty effect. The misty mountains. Okay. And this is fun, and this probably won't be as long as I'm going to try to put a, a figure together and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see how she likes it. Squirrel with your finger and mix it in and then to make it look misty. This is what I love being able to blend it a little bit. Because sometimes there's big mist and sometimes there's little tiny. And that makes it fun. You can use your fingers and blend it in here too. I'm a very visceral kind of artist, so I enjoy getting my fingers in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been careful. See, i got to be careful what I say. Getting my fingers in there could be problems. <laughs> That's why this is not for kids. This is not for kids. I don't want to get in some kind of trouble because, you know, I'm a dirty old lady. <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. Guys, you know, I don't have to tell you. Sometimes I just don't know what they could do. I have so many stories, actually. <laughs> Anyone knows? Yes, yes, yes. Things that have happened in the past. Yes, yes, yes. Do you see it looks really cute? And you can look at the mist in the background. And until she tells me what I need 
to know this is what it's going to be. So that looks nice. I like that. Looking down at all these pretty mountains and stuff. You can see the mist in the morning, or I should say in the evening. So it could be morning mist. It could be early morning in the mountains. That's pretty. Mountains in the morning are always nice. I know I feel with mountains in the morning. Uh oh, 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 oh. Entertainment Thursday, right? How entertaining is that? Look at that. I did a whole painting for you. Wow! <laughs> it only took 45 minutes. That's excellent. See, and all the only other thing that I have to do, really, is just ask her if she wants to do a special put in. Spots. Maybe a little saying or, or even like little hearts. Actually, you know what? I'll just do that. Let's make some hearts in the clouds because that's kind of fun. And that's the kind of fun thing that we do. Thinking about. Four years, yeah. Four. I can't believe it's been so long. I've been doing YouTube, <laughs> my my live YouTube videos. I've been doing them for a while now. Kind of like when COVID started, I kind of like wanted to do something just to keep myself, you know live so I can keep bringing stuff to everybody out there and this is the best way I could figure out how to, to do it now I'll wait for a, I'll stop here and I'll wait and see because I know that they'll be she'll maybe want some other thing to put in there Love this. I love doing this. Alright, it's nice, like and, and and you can play with it and it's really a lot of fun. Sign it. Uh, of course the last thing to do that I want to do is just make sure that you know if there's anything extra she wants to put in there. Like hands holding hands, right about here I'm thinking that would be probably a nice thing to have. But you can stop here, and that would be like a perfect painting right there. And some trees in there if you want to have the trees and the background there. <laughs> Silhouette, nice silhouette, and the silhouette will also be in the front, so we shall see what it will do. So, all right. And of course, the last thing to do is to sign it. I'll sign it for now. That way, just make it bold. And I forgot the stars. Some stars. Using the butt end of the brush there.
sign it, sign, sealed, and delivered. And just waiting on the last little bit. If I get it, if I get anything in the meantime, I will let you guys know. But all you gotta do is put your name on it. So this isn't over by a long shot, babies. Yes, we're just getting started. All right. It's a beautiful day outside. It's nice and cool downstairs because I got the air conditioner put in. And... I love Andreas Ballenweiner. He's the best. I love his music. Thank you. 
Are you entertained? <laughs> Wonder what this could be. Thank you. 
Water's a little bit dirty. I'm going to use my little detail details brush a tiny tiny one. And uh, see if I can get the So now I guess what I'm making. All right.
I love the music, but you know what? I like to play my own free as well. Hang on a second. And I'm practically at the end of my, my songs and everything, too. That's a long song. <laughs> All right. Myself, man, I work up a sweat and everything for you. Isn't that great? I do it just because I love you. Love you, I tell you. You're the best out there. I love you. You're great. I'm okay. Actually, I'm KO. Okay, Kim Overholt. Kim Overholt.com. <laughs> I'm taking commissions right now. Come on, call me. Call me. <laughs> do I have energy? My God. Oh, my God. Like, this is 53, okay? <laughs> Eat your heart out, Brad Pitt. I can move as fast as you. Actually, I try to move as fast as my hubby, and I end up hurting myself, so I don't try and keep up with my hubby anymore. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I need the clapper. <laughs> clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. The clapper, yeah. I'm silly. But I love to entertain, and it's the whole Kimmy the Clown thing. It just, it never got out of my system, and I still enjoy coming here and entertaining. And I'm, I'm glad you stuck around and watched me do a painting. Where is it again? Oh, yeah, okay, right over here. 
So yeah, it, it looks like it needs something and I'm waiting on that little something I could put in there. And until I get that little bit of something, it'll just kind of sit there until until we're ready. Until we're ready to go, until we're ready to make some action. And like that, I show you the other one. The other one's so pretty. And it's so simple to do. And it's the rule of thirds here too. Let me just show you. This is how it's gonna go, okay? Background. Oh, hot air balloon. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Oh, hot air balloon in this would probably be a good idea, too, for Paris, for sure. But let me see. Hot air ballooning in Paris, that'd be something else, eh? Off the Eiffel Tower, get caught. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so this one's pretty simple, straight word. Rule of thirds, third, 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 okay? So the top third, you get the Eiffel Tower, which is, like, I'm going to get to do, like, the letter A, and then I'm going to build on it, build it up. And we'll pretend like the rest of it's over there. You know, we all know what the Eiffel Tower looks like. We make a nice little bushes over on the side. And then can tear it over there to a nice little bridge. And the bridge goes into the water. So we've got sky, we got earth, and we got water. And we got love and Paris. And, uh, yeah, this is, um, well, seven-year-olds. But, you know, it's, it's very, very... Um, that's the word. Whimsical. It's a whimsical painting, so it's supposed to be easy, and it, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is not perfect. This is like just having fun with paint, and I, that's what I want. I want everybody to just have fun with paint, and if you don't want to have fun with paint, call me. I'll have fun with paint for you, and, and you can pay me for making you a nice painting. I'm taking commissions. I'm on commission. <laughs> okay, so, so we got some ideas going. And Entertainment Thursday, I think I've been pretty entertaining today. I hope you have been entertained. I am your party artist. I want to wish you a piece of brother with a little bit added. I usually do this. Me and Brad Pitt are like this. This is me over here. <laughs> yeah, but I, my mama used to say piece of brother with a little bit added. I, I get stupid sometimes. Piece of brother with a little bit added. I got to get out of here because the, the, the pool is calling me and uh, I got to go. So... Besides, I gotta do dishes and clean the house and vacuum. And an adult life is never ever like sitting down and relaxing. Though there's always something to do. Don't ever say that you don't have anything to do. If you don't have anything to do, call me. I'll give you something to do. Okay? <laughs> That's like my parents used to say. You want something to cry about? I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> right? Remember those days? Oh my gosh. Thank God those days are gone, right? I know. I'm so glad I'm an adult now. I hated being a kid. Being an adult is a lot more better. Is that actually proper grammar? A lot more better. 